Hi, in this tutorial I'll show you how to convert legacy BIOS mode to UEFI without data loss. First off, bring a USB flash drive and plug it in your computer. Open Start menu and search for Recovery Drive. Run as administrator and tick this option and click Next. Select your plugged USB flash drive and click Next. Please notice, everything on your USB flash drive will be erased, so make sure to back up your data. If you're ready, click Create. Click Finish. Right click on this PC and select Manage. Under Storage, click Disk Management. Right click the disk and select Properties. Click Volumes tab. As you can see, Legacy BIOS mode uses MBR partition style. In this tutorial, we will convert it into GPT partition style or the UEFI BIOS mode to recognize the disk. Usually, the first partition is the system partition that contains boot files and Windows recovery environment and the second partition is the Windows partition right click on system partition select change drive and paths click add select any letter it doesn't matter and click OK now the system partition is labeled as E open start menu Search for CMD. Run as administrator. Navigate to system partition and go to this path recovery, Windows recovery environment. Type dir switch A to display all content of this directory. What I'm interested in is the winre.wim, short for Windows recovery environment image. I want to keep it in a safe place because later on I'll delete the system partition. Type X copy space Windows recovery image space the full path to destination you want to copy it to space switch H space switch S and hit enter. Exit for now. Now, open your internet browser and navigate to this website. I'll put the link in the description below. Click the green download button. Extract the archive. Open the folder and copy the full path to this directory. Open again command prompt as administrator. Type cd space switch d space right click to paste the path and hit enter. Now let's use gptgenerator.exe utility space tag w for writing to the disk space double backward slashes dot backward slash physical drive the number of the disk you want to convert to know the number right click this PC manage disk management disk 0 is holding my operating system so this is the one Type your disk number and hit enter. Confirm the conversion by typing Y and hit enter. Phase 1 is completed. The disk is converted from MBR to GBT. If you restart your computer, it won't boot. 
because legacy BIOS doesn't support GPT partition style. That's why I've created recovery drive. Restart your computer and boot from the recovery drive. Press the key for showing boot options menu. Recovery drive contains boot files for both UEFI and Legacy. It doesn't matter which one you select. Select your keyboard layout. Select Troubleshoot, Command Prompt, Type Disk Part. List disk. There are two disks. First one is the system, second is the recovery drive. So I'll select disk 0. You may have different number, be careful. List partition. I already know that the first partition is the system due to its size. So I'll select partition 1. But to be sure, type Detail Partition. As you can see, it's labeled as System. Delete this partition to create new partition style for UEFI BIOS mode. Type DIL space Partition. Hit Enter. Now let's create special partition for the UEFI. Type create partition EFI size 100 megabytes. Hit enter. Formatted as FAT32 and label it as system. Sign a letter to this partition. I will set it as S. Type list volume to display all partition letters. Type exit. Now type BCD boot space the partition letter contains windows space switch s space the EFI partition letter space switch f space UEFI and hit enter type exit turn off your PC unplug your USB flash drive and boot into BIOS menu Oops, I've missed it. Never mind. As you can see, the system is loaded successfully because my BIOS has both legacy and UEFI modes enabled. Let's check the disk partition style. Now, the disk has GBT partition style. Your computer may not load it successfully, as mine. In that case, let's restart. And this time I should not miss pressing the key for booting into BIOS menu.
All right. Your BIOS menu indeed not like mine because each PC or laptop has its own BIOS menu. But the main point, just locate where is the boot options. As you can see, both UEFI and Legacy enabled. I'll disable Legacy to get advantage of enabling Secure Boot. Confirm the changes. Now, only UEFI is enabled with Secure Boot. Let's exit. Don't forget to exit Save Changes. Yes. Phase 2 completed successfully. The last phase, creating recovery partition. Right click this PC, manage, click disk management. The remaining unallocated space from the first partition is going to be the recovery partition. Right click it and select new simple volume. Next, next, you can assign whatever letter you want. I'll leave it as E. Click Next. File system must be NTFS. Let's give it a meaningful volume label. Click Next. And Finish. Open Start menu and search for CMD. Run as Administrator. Navigate to E Partition, the Recovery Partition. Make Directory. Call it recovery. Go inside this folder and make another directory, call it Windows RE. Go inside Windows RE folder. X copy Windows recovery image from the desktop. And I'll place it in this path with the switches H and S. Hit enter. Now let's set our recovery agent component. By setting recovery image path to point to the Windows recovery image and set switch target to be the Windows partition. Hit enter. Now enable recovery agent component. Let's make sure everything is okay by using switch info. As you can see, Windows Recovery Environment is enabled and the location is correct. Exit. Restart your computer. After that, come again to Disk Management and right click on the Recovery Partition, Change Drive Letter and remove the letter to hide the partition. Because it is part of the system and you should never ever save anything in it. That's all. I hope it was easy to follow and helpful. Thanks for watching.